How's it going everyone? Ben Hess here, and today we're taking a look at the Hollyland Mars 300. So Hollyland has done something very incredible. They're bringing wireless video setups to the consumer market, which really hasn't been done before. A lot of the current wireless setups are well over $1,000 and can go to you know thousands, if not over $10,000. Currently, the Mars 300 is selling for only 500 bucks, which is super inexpensive compared to everything else. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys and show all the things that are included. We're gonna test it for a latency, which is the time between the receiver and the transmitter's signal. We're gonna go over how far the distance actually is for the signal. So it's rated at 300 feet, but I'm curious just how far we can go. We're gonna test it indoors to see how well it works between walls. And to make things even more interesting, I'm gonna compare this to Teradex Bolt 500, which is close to $2,000 if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna see, is something like the Teradex really worth four times the cost of the Mars 300? All right, so let's get into it. <laughs> that usually works. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. So when you open the box, it comes with the transmitter, the receiver. You got five antennas, one extra. So in case you lose one or one breaks or something like that, a cold shoe mount to mount it to the top of your camera. And then you've got a screw fitting if you want to mount it on its side. These are very light. It's about the size of a deck of cards, maybe slightly bigger. You've got two HDMI outputs and two HDMI inputs. Keep in mind, it does not come with Sony batteries or HDMI cables, so you gotta have those. As I'm looking at the accessories, it would be really nice if they had maybe one extra of the screw fittings. So I had to get a few extra accessories, some HDMI angle converters. I don't know exactly what you wanna call them, but it makes it so you can angle the HDMI out or input differently to better suit your camera setup. I got some, uh, I think they're one foot HDMI flexible Cable. So the, the keyword flexible, super handy because you could angle it any way you need to and it won't get all bunched up or get in the way. So I got these small magic arms so you can kind of mount it on your camera rig and adjust the angle. So my main camera of choice is actually a red Gemini with anamorphic lenses, which is what I'm filming on at this very moment. But a majority of you will be filming with DSLRs, so I wanted to show you guys just how to mount it to a DSLR, which is pretty simple actually. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna mount it to my Red Gemini. So I'm at my buddy Justin's studio and we're gonna set it up on my Red Gemini, which is what I shoot on most of the time. I bought a few accessories to make it work as we've just seen. First thing, I've got these rails right here because that's what's gonna help mount the Mars 300 to the side of it, so. And what I'm gonna use now is this little doohickey. <laughs> it helps you go on to uh, rails for a cinema camera. Just screw that in. Okay. Slide this into place. Then to charge it, I don't want to put on one of these batteries because the camera rig is already as heavy, very heavy. What I did was order a D-tap to uh, the, the power input for the transmitter. And there we go. So pretty much it's all powered up. No extra weight from a battery. Uh, perfectly could kind of angle it around whichever way works best but I'm really liking that setup right there it's out of the way I really want to push this test to the limits and so what I got is my buddy Justin's Teradek Bolt 500 and so this is probably one of the industry leading brands for wireless video monitoring and it's built a little bit more for professionals but I really want to test it and see just how well the Mars 300 can stand against something like this that is used on a day-to-day -day basis in Hollywood. As mentioned, the Mars is rated for 300 feet and the Teradek is rated for 500 feet. We're testing this thing outside and I'm realizing that this thing can go pretty far, much further than the 300 feet. Now, I don't know exactly what distance we're going for, but I know the distance of a football field and we were further than a football field, which is 300 feet. One thing I did notice is both would actually kind of lose signal once I started getting in between some buildings and stuff or some trees. 
but if we had a clear line of sight, these things could go on for quite a ways. And indoors, it was a little tricky. The bolt did come out on top this time, a little bit more reliable in terms of strength through walls. I was able to go through quite a few rooms with the Mars 300, which I was very impressed with. And the walls I was going through were wood, but as soon as I went through another part of the building, which was all metal, I started the drop signal for the Mars 300. But in my opinion, it did really well going through buildings. They both have their ups and downs. Both can be kind of finicky. The bolt is a little bit stronger than the Mars 300, but I was surprised just how far I could push the Mars 300 in these scenarios. All right, so now we're gonna test the latency and compare that to the Terra Deck. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure the Terra Deck is gonna have close to zero latency, um, but that's gonna be because it's, you know, $2,000. With the Mars 300, you can switch the channel depending on where you're at so that you can have better, uh, you know, response times. So as you can tell, it's, it's a little slow right now. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just double tap the channel button right over there. That's gonna switch the channel. It takes about 10 seconds to activate. Okay, now we're talking. This is pretty close. Still about just a fraction of a second off, but you know, then again, this is a consumer, um, you know, wireless video transmitter. It's not meant to be the $2,000 zero second latency, you know, something like the Teradek. Depending on your environment, you got to change the channel uh, of the signal and get it to whichever one is the strongest and the latency will be very minimal. If someone was using this for follow focus, I do think it could be doable. If you know, you're on a big budget set and you've got a lot of moving parts, characters moving all around, fast moving scenes, stuff like that, where focus is very critical, you might wanna go with something a little bit more reliable in terms of latency, but honestly, this can cover a lot of scenarios. Overall, I would definitely recommend this because it's gonna open up so many doors for entry level filmmakers or filmmakers at any level uh, to get a wireless signal. And so one thing that is super nice about wireless monitors is when you're working with a director or someone in charge of a project, they can have the video feed right there in their hands instead of having to peer over your shoulder while you're filming. This is my buddy Samuel Elkins and him and I are working on a commercial. It should be out very shortly, still doing some final tweaks on it, but this is some of the behind the scenes filming. And funny story, we were shooting here about three weeks ago and we were using a tear deck that we had rented and it did not work at all in this building. Like we could not get a signal. We tried for like half an hour to get this thing to work and we ended up just having to, you know, scrap the whole wireless setup because we just couldn't use it. We had to go back and do some reshoots and this time I had the Mars 300. It worked instantly. It's really interesting just how finicky sometimes these things can be, especially the professional ones how it wouldn't even work, but then the Mars 300 came in and saved the day in this case. And as you could see, I'm just in some awkward angles getting over this girl's shoulder. Uh, you know, we're late at night doing a campfire scene. So really helpful for Sam to just have the monitor in his hand, give direction to the actors and models to get the best performance possible because ultimately, the whole point of this wireless setup is to improve your work, improve your workflow on set, make things easier. And I really do feel like the Mars 300 accomplishes that at a reasonable price point. I really hope you liked the video and give Hollyland a look on their website. They've got tons of products. And if you have any questions regarding the Mars 300 or anything in general, drop them below. I'll be sure to answer all of them. See you guys next time.